customer is looking to have um, some work done, some maintenance done on their um, existing walls and patios. So let's start with the patio first real quickly. Um, this is a uh, tight joint bluestone patio that was installed a few um, 10-ish years ago. And uh, not by us. Uh, underneath it is class 5 and sand. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but these outside pieces are dipping down and sliding away. So um, what she wants us to do is come in and basically reset um, basically the last four feet, you know, make it nice and level again. So we'd have to bring in some sand. The material is all here. We just reuse it and, and prop it up exactly where it is. So it's 60 feet from that point over there to that point over there, 60, 60 feet. And um, I'm guessing probably an average of three feet back will have to go. Um, it's a couple pieces, so we'll say um, an average of three feet back that we're gonna have to, um, that we're gonna have to adjust. So uh, 60 times three, and then um, we'll probably have to, I, mean, I might even cut in a piece there. That's just, that's just sloppy, leaving that little nubber piece on the outside. Just use a one by two for goodness sakes. Anyway, um, and then the, she wants um, some, uh, a bid for wall repair. So this is the wall that we did. Man, it looks awesome. Great batter. Um, this is the wall that we did um, several years back um, after it had fallen over. Um, this is the wall that we're, uh, she wants repaired. Kind of small, I know. Um, but uh, it is uh, three feet tall and it is four feet from left to right. And I've got a seven foot return over here. So we're, this is going to be the li a one line item. The next line item is to go across the back there, and um, that's uh, six feet um, along the back of that, six feet at three feet tall. And then um, it's two foot returns on both sides. And then uh, as another line item to replace the rest, or to take down and to replace the rest of it. So this is uh, beginning to lean forward um, right here. So. Um, I encouraged her to uh, to do that as well. This is 25 feet, and it's three feet for the bulk of it, but then it gets shorter as it goes up there, and about a 10 foot return on the uh, from there to the house. So, uh, 25 feet, 10, going from three feet for the bulk of it, then it shrinks down to about two feet at the end, and the return is about two feet tall as well. So, um, that's what we got. We've got the bluestone, we've got um, the wall. Um, she is. Um, so first of all, this is going to be a no-access job. Uh, the skid, um, obviously, there's some steps right here that we um, obviously we can't get up to. Um, the material is all salvaged. We'll reuse her material, um, and we'll have to supplement. I'm sure we'll have to supplement some um, just to to make it uh, to make it work right. So we're going to have to tear it down. Um, if I remember correctly from their past, or from this wall, it did have crushed rock behind it. And there is crushed rock coming out from here. Um, the problem is, is that they built it straight up and down, so any pressure was, was pushing out on it. So um, just keep that in mind as this is, uh, as this is going back together. Um, it's mostly chunky stuff. I mean, there's some two to three, you know, but it's, I mean, mostly five to six that they used in here. So that's, um, that's nice. Um, anyway, it's, it's manual, um, and she, she said she just kind of redid this area, so I would suggest putting tarps in front of the wall um, to, uh, to help protect her, her mulch and her and whatever else, especially if you do the long one. I mean, this little guy here, whatever. So, all right, that's it.